one, right? Right, right. But then, like, they told me to, like, oh, you have to, like, leave. But I'm like... Oh, I know that feeling. I'm like, yeah. I don't want to walk outside. Like, yeah. that's the walk of shame. My friend's going to hit by that one all the time. Yeah. <laughs> They'll be walking like, oh, it'll be fine. I'm going to get checked, and then... All Ooh, right, yeah. but we got two. Oh wow, okay, so this is Ooh. pretty sick because we got Haru versus Keegan. These guys both go to the same school, play each other oh, yeah. actually so much, this like is, insanely. This is history right here. Yeah, Fox versus Marth. I love the Mario controller. Yeah, they definitely have a, a pretty decent rivalry, I would say for sure. Mm. Keegan, the things that you're gonna notice from him a lot is he's very, very patient and willing to abuse a lot of the. Uh, I would say the newer, newer defensive tech skill. So like, oh, yeah. so holding down, like, kind of throwing cancels? out a move and then option selecting ACI yeah. down or crouch cancel. So whenever they get hit by like, let's say a fox snare, they're gonna touch the ground before their opponent and then right, they course. can grab them or like just shield. Get a nice hit. In. They just get basically less than the amount of frame disadvantage they're in. And in some scenarios, might have frame advantage, right? Mm. Whereas from Haru, you, they play kind of similar. Haru is pretty patient. I would say very, very full hop heavy. Likes to use the platforms a decent amount, right? Uh, and pretty solid. I would say both of these players. I would say in BC like top thirty, top thirty okay. for sure. Top, yeah, solid top thirty. Yeah, really interesting. That. Oh, that shine. Yeah, that might be the game. I was waiting for a second, and Mark's getting pummeled. Yeah, sixty-six percent in ten seconds. Six percent every second. That's some good math. I would definitely <laughs> write that in my math textbook. Oh yeah, dude. That's, that's, that's day one. Oh, he might get cheesed. Going for the down tilt with his whip. Trying to find an opening. Oh, yeah. Marth and you could, just even, you could just see, like, Keegan just started bringing out, or I'll just call mm. him Free Zoo, I guess. Uh, Free Zoo pulling out all of the dash dancing right there. Cooked him with a knife up there. Wow. And that crowd cancel down tilt was perfectly spaced to be out that uh, fair from Marth there. Oh, the movement. What a grab. Oh, yeah. He dashed, he dashed back. What? That whiffed? He dashed back right when that Nair was coming in. What Having a, a read. great read. And that should be the stock right there. Yeah, he tried to go for the little brother bullet right there just to oh, get that yeah. 2%. 1% <laughs> depending if it's stale or not, but that's it's the true. up tilt back here. He has to get the ledge. Oh, yeah. Well, the dash attack. Maybe, maybe down tilt would have worked. All right. Oh, go for the up smash. Big whiff, though. What a spot dodge. She's a... No! Yep, he just has to cover the high after that. Mangle! Mangle! Oh wow. my goodness! <laughs> and Free Zoo not covering the fastball right there. Oh. Jab, I thought that was gonna hit. Wow. Fox barely makes it through. Yeah, threading the needle. Her getting some good movement in here. That was like Free watching not like, a, like a dog at like a one of those dog competitions <laughs> oh, yeah. at like PE where they Jumping jump. through the flame. Yeah. <laughs> the flame ring. <laughs> oh! Uh, yeah. Meaty so, forward smash. Just got the good, nice little read there on which which recovery angle he wanted. Oh yeah. Okay, we got a down throw tech chase. Just trying to get some uh, earlier percents to, so that the up throw le leads to a tech chase onto the platform. Oh, it's another grab. Okay, now we got, got the up throws going. And you see, Frizu kind of had a little tech flub. He wanted to wave line onto the platform and maybe uh, go for like a re grab, but okay, he okay. he did his wave line a little bit too early. So you saw that it kind of looked like he did like a messed up wave dash there. A little odd. Get the up throw. Yeah, not even perfect. Oh. Grab. This could be big. Oh no. Haru makes it out. Oh. oh that's battlefield for you. Yeah. That's battlefield. <laughs> Haru looking a little scared here, but this is totally possible. Fox can get an easy shine gimp and that's it. Yeah. Oh. Haru really has to think how much how much percent budget can he give on this first stock. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But I don't think he can give his first stock as a budget. That's uh, that's not too good. That's like overloading your credit card right when you get it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, that was disgusting down there. Oh, yeah. Haru's credit score is falling apart. His marriage is falling apart. His kids are leaving him. The interest is already at 25%. <laughs> it's over. He still has student loans. Oh, jeez. But we got Yoshi's. It makes sense. I think this is definitely a very classic Haru counterpick. He likes to have the smaller space. Probably so he can get some good kills at the top. Is it is the stage shorter, the ceiling shorter here than Battlefield, or is it yes. just the walls? Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, blast zones on the top and side are both a little bit shorter. That's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. It'll, it is. Be it is a little bit weird some... though, because on Battlefield, um, mm. if you compare it to the relative height of the top platform, then I think Battlefield and Yoshi's might be pretty similar because That's true. Battlefield top platform I think is the highest out of all the tri-platform oh, really? stages. So yeah, so even though it has like a decently high top blast zone, you it, it's like if you're at the top platform it doesn't really matter. Okay, okay. But we still got we got one select the one taken. Up to tech chase on the platform. Yeah, up that up air when you're on the ground like that and you go for the full up air, you right, don't get right. the second hit a lot of the time because of the the weird height. 
But the fuck and clean. Okay. Thief combos. Yeah. Mark's just about dead. Shine? Yeah. Knew it. Oh. Randall? Oh. Yeah, Randall. He's like, I'm, I tried. He tried so hard. They, they might know the timing. Might have gone for it. Mm -hmm. Reading that clock. That's a good oh, grab. Oh, platform. Yeah, and right there, you notice that Free, free Zoo actually turned around right before the up tilt, which made it so that the slide off was a little bit harder. Oh, yeah. Grab ledge, maybe? Oh, well, there yeah. it is. He tried to go for the XB test. Oh. That's the one. That's the one he needed. Yeah. Rocking at 77%. He just needs one good gimp. It's totally possible on Yoshi's. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What a tipper. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, my it's God. Up. It's the fly oh. swatter. <laughs> Marth the Clown. What a downer. What do you? Oh, my. Another up Did retort. you see that? It's Smash like die? What heated, the heck? Heated in this match. He teleported all the way to the center stage with that Both smash players guy. are mad on this match right now. Yeah. Up tilt. Oh. What a pivot grab. Oh my gosh. Down air? They're both oh. trying to force something, but they're getting nothing out of it. Up tilt. Oh, what a forward oh. smash. He has no up jump. Smash. He has no jump. What did he make it back? Yeah, just a little bit too slow. Up air. Oh, gets caught. They're both fighting ah. for any kind of opening, any kind of stretch. Grab the ledge. Oh, okay, okay. We're back. Right? He's identical this percent. <laughs> oh my god. Don't laser him. Shine Shine. Yeah, that's going to be it. Ooh, yeah. Clean wow. finish. Clean finish. Oh my goodness. Yeah. This and it's, that was so That was so sick, yeah, yeah. Because you could tell that Haru didn't panic at all. He, oh, chose, no. he chose a very, uh, I would say... Um, Relatively not, safe option? Yeah, like the yeah. running shine. And then he just hit confirm perfectly into grab exactly. and then up throw. When does it shine? Work? <laughs> right? Like, I think a lot of your local foxes there, mm -hmm. they would panic and just go like, up smash, up exactly, smash, up smash. Exactly, I was about to say, just up smash. <laughs> but then, like, once you miss the up smash or once you get shielded once, you get grabbed into, like, tip or up smash or something like that. Over. But he it's chose a over. much safer option that can hit confirm into pretty much the same uh, mm. reward. And Even, he whiffed it, he would still would have been safe. Yeah, it's exactly. Shine. Exactly. You can choose the wave dash back out of it or just double jump out. Mm -hmm. But he knew he was going to land the hit, got the confirm, and that was it. But kind of an interesting narrative we have right here, because Free Zoo actually went to Yoshi's himself. Oh, yeah. So I yeah. guess they both just really like Yoshi's. I think Free Zoo was definitely yeah. feeling himself on those edge guards. Yeah. Because he was getting a lot of good up smashes here. Especially that one uh, fly spawning stock where he just kind of kept knocking oh, him yeah, off the yeah, stage. Yeah. Like, all, from like basically like mid percent all the way to like 150. He was just like not, didn't touch the ground. Exactly. I'm going to go for a nair. Both dodging grabs. Both on the ledge here, feeling a little oh, pressure. Oh, yikers! Yo. Oh, he got the edge cancel. Okay, that oh time goodness. that up smash was a little bit risky, but since Free Zoo did light shield, it pushed him off back to ledge, so pretty much uh, risk free there on that up right. smash. I love this contrast of play, because Haro's playing so safe, but with such speed that yeah. Free Zoo can't find an opening. But it's Free a nice Zoo's little balance. looking the opposite that. He's just going in for every punish he can. Yeah. Every opportunity he can get, just boom, gets a big combo. Looking for big grabs, looking just like that. Yeah, and it seems that he knows when Frizu wants to grab because he perfectly timed his spot dodge right after exactly. with Dariel. Exactly. Haru's getting a good read on him. Oh, Holy off the top forward smash. Damn. I think uh, Fox's prosthetic legs are already gone. <laughs> oh, no, those are, those are long gone. He's Rusted gone through like seven different cabinet. renditions. Whoa, <laughs> oh, that air dodge was a little wonky. He's just air dodging everywhere here. Get the shy guys in the way. Oh no. Yeah, right now, this is kind of a, a trend we're seeing a lot by Haru. He, a lot of his uh, free, his basically whiffed aerials, he's covering with a spot dodge. So I wonder if Frizu tries to adapt to that, or maybe Haru adapts before that even comes up. This damage on Fox right now. Ooh, Haru feeling the pain. Sliding around at the speed of sound. Frizu getting every confirm he can get. Yuri on ice. Holy. Oh, okay, up air just barely missed time to cover that. I was gonna make a reference, but I can't remember the name of oh, that anime. <laughs> I can't remember. I never watched it, but hit, right now, Freezy is trying to make some history like I that most opening. Of it. I watched most of it. It was good. Yeah, but you just gotta grab ledge, but uh -oh. two stock lead, but 84%. Uh -oh. If, oh, yeah, I was gonna say if the up air connected there, I think that would have been the stock. Yeah, the forward air defense from Freezy looking really <sighs> solid. No! Oh, he's. Oh my god, he's oh my gosh. on the edge of the third stock. Yeah. Try to tackle as much percent as possible. Mm, up the tech read. Or sorry, the up till not covering that exact real tech roll. Another grab. Yeah. Uh, and we haven't Har seen Haru kind of choose to overshoot a lot of his uh, approaches. It's kind of mm. been in that specific zone where Frizu is just like dash backing, getting his exactly. pivot shields. 
Well, I think it freezes getting a good read on him, but Haru's got some Ooh. solid defense. However, Randall. Oh, oh yeah. That last sequence was just basically Freeze you just walling out. Yeah. Walling out any attempts to get back towards the stage from Haru. You can even tell that he waited just a bit to see if you can try to bait out a jump, but exactly. he didn't. But since he was still close enough to get hit by another fair, he just went for the fair anyways. Yeah. It's kind of like a damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of situation. Yeah. If you jump, he snipes it. If you don't jump, you're still off stage.